3D printing has paved the way for some really useful, innovative and affordable accessories for our reef tanks. So today I'm going to tell you the top 5 3D printed things you can buy for your reef tank and I guarantee at least one will make you go, <gasps> that's awesome. First up is controller mounting brackets. Now any DC powered pump, whether it's a premium powerhead like a Vortec MP40 or a budget return pump like a Jekod MDC will always come with a control box. But mounting them is usually a little messy and my control boxes look like they were leveled by Rachel from Friends. Is that picture straight? <laughs> it needs to go about 20 blocks to the left. But you can get 3D printed brackets for just about anything, which means my Jekod return pump DD heating controller display and refactory pH monitor display are now all neatly fixed in my cabinet so Monica can rest easy. And while Ecotech make an in-house bracket for their power heads and return pumps, they cost twice as much as the equivalent 3D printed parts which all adds up if you have 4 or 5 pumps. And you can also get 3D printed power brick brackets which would free up a ton of space in my own cabinet that I could then fill up with things like aquarium controllers and monitors. Next up is the first thing on my list that made me personally go, that's awesome. It's a stand for the pump on a Tunzi Auto Top Off. The Tunzi ATO pump draws water from the bottom, but I can never get it to stand up straight, so it just lies on its side. But that is fixed by this little pump holder that grips the pump in place and holds it upright. Now that might sound trivial, but it means my nano tank reservoir now lasts two extra days because the pump can drain the freshwater container much lower. And the best thing is this cost me just £9 from eBay and I now have one for each of my three tons of ATOs. Another simple but brilliant idea is this 45 degree frag plug holder. It's just a small piece of plastic with a hole for a frag plug stem on a diagonal angle. But it makes it super easy to mount corals on the weir box or back class of your aquarium. Which gives you extra space to mount those corals you keep buying despite having nowhere to put them. I have three of these at the top of my weir box for light loving SPS corals, plus more in the bottom corner for this chalice that prefers much dimmer light. And you can even get 90 degree mounts for any right angles in your tank, like in the top corners. The penultimate item on my list is Hannah Checker Organizers. Now I've always found the little black boxes Hannah Checkers come with to be a bit chunky and not very good for quick access but these 3D printed organizers are vastly superior. For a start, they're color matched and labeled, so it is immediately obvious which checker is which, and they also make quick access much, much easier. And as stupid as it sounds, I actually test more frequently now I have these than when I had the checkers in black boxes. They hold all of the necessary reagents and cuvettes you need, and you can even get little drying racks for the test cuvettes. Now before I get to the final item, I have a few honourable mentions. There's this vacuum attachment that turns a CJ pump into a sump hoover. This feeding hatch for my aquarium cover that also acts as a copper band feeder. This neat little magnetic corner frag rack that sticks easily to 15mm glass and sits out of the way looking much less conspicuous than a normal frag rack. And finally this 45 degree bracket for the AI Nero powerhead that allows you to point Nero's in different directions. But the number one 3D printed accessory on my list is the Vortec MP40 Flow Director. I absolutely love almost everything about my MP40s except for the price and the fact you can only point them straight ahead. But these flow directors fix that and do a surprisingly good job. The outlet of the cage has slats that point the flow at an angle and the cage itself is a much finer mesh than the standard cage. There's a notch at the top of the cage so you know which way round it is and you can of course rotate the cage to point the flow in any direction you want. Now the angle is of course fixed so you don't quite get the same flexibility as powerheads like Jekyll or Tunzi and it still pulls eddies in if it's too close to the water surface but it does go some way to removing the biggest drawback of MP40s and it's created flowing areas of my tank that were previously still all for a modest £20. Now this is not a sponsored video, I bought all of this stuff myself and the links in the description below are not affiliate links. And I'd love to know which of these you guys think is the best, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week. And until next time, happy reefing.